Good morning, this is Dwayne. And the last few sessions together, we've been talking about various ways to put things under your right hand, how to harmonize a melody. Because all melodies, no matter what they are, need harmonizing. Well, they don't, they don't have to have harmony. You could play. It sounds a little empty. So we talked about putting thirds under the melody. We talked about putting sixths under the melody. We talked about a whole chords under the melody. And we talked about uh, color tones on the melody. Color tones, like putting a, a ninth or a sixth or a seventh or something like that under the melody. Okay. Today I'd like to talk about another technique and that is called octave thirds. It's playing the melody in an octave instead of just one note. Let's say the melody goes like that. Instead of just playing one G, let's play two, okay? And it can either be above or below the, the melody. In other words, it could be like that, but that gets, that kind of jams your left hand. So I like to play it up here, okay? So we play the melody in octaves. By the way, I have very small hands, so this is probably easier for you than it is for me. But anyway, it's doable, okay? Uh, and what we're going to do is put a third under the top octave note. In other words, under this top G, we're going to come down a third. In other words, no matter what the melody knows, we come down a third. And that will almost always work. Sometimes it won't. And if it won't, just leave it out or put in a six. Because it's really, we're, what we're really doing is, is combining thirds with an octave, right? Okay, let me play that. Now with the left hand. First you put an octave in, then you cut down three and put in a third. And of course it has to be scale notes. In other words, this is a third too, but that's not a member of this, the C scale. Is that we're playing the C chord. So it has to match the chord that we're playing. Okay? It's a very uh, easy technique to master. Even if octaves feel a little strange to you, in due time you'll, you'll get the feel of that. So that's called octave thirds. And we'll see you again tomorrow with another method of filling in the right hand. So we'll see you then. Bye-bye for now.